Hey, it's uh, Aiden. Welcome to another exciting episode of Street Combat Systems. I know I've been slacking a little bit, haven't been posting videos, and I apologize to all my subscribers and people who view the site. But anyway, today I'm going to do a, a quick drill utilizing the elbow and the palm strike. Kind of when you're in that, what I call the pocket, when you're in, in here. Because that's where the fight occurs. You know, not dancing around. If you ever watch those street fight videos on, on YouTube, you know, they're swinging wildly like two little girls instead of getting in the pocket and, you know, ripping it up. <clears throat> also, I'm going to do a couple of exercises with dumbbells. And dumbbells are easy to come by. You can get them at Walmart, Sports Authority, Dicks. You find all that stuff uh, on Craigslist. Um, you know, everybody wants to work out and get in shape, and they go out and spend all this money on weights and machines and other bullshit, and they never use it. You know, and I, everything I have here in my home gym, I got uh, from people selling it. Uh, you know, basically on uh, Craigslist or yard sales. But anyway, as far as the uh, the elbow palm strike drill, we're going to start out hands up like always, you know, you get in that situation, you want to look like you're in an offensive position, not the defensive position because if somebody's catching you on their cell phone and the, the cops get it because you beat that motherfucker's ass, guess who's, guess who's going to jail and going to be spending some money trying to get out of you know, staying in jail. But anyway, from here, neutral position. You can stand in a neutral position if you want to practice, or, you know, I automatically, you know, I'm right handed, so I drop my uh, right leg back into that fighting stance. And basically, all we're doing is going elbow and get your body into it. You know, twerking. You just don't want to see this crap. That doesn't do anything. If you're coming across that face, breaking that jaw, splitting that upper eye bone apart and knocking that motherfucker out. So it's elbow, you're going to come back around, break the face to keep him off balance, palm right after that, and then another palm strike to finish it up. You're going to come back, throw your left elbow, same thing, break palm, palm. So it's elbow, break palm, palm, elbow, break palm, palm. Now you want to do that over and over again. If you don't have a bag, you can do it in the air and go out back, do it on a pole, a tree, you know, whatever. If, if in reality, if you what you want, if you can't uh, find or afford a bag right away, just go to uh, uh, Walmart or, or uh, Dick's or Sports Authority, and uh, a lot of times they'll have the single hand pads that are discontinued. Like, a, a, for example, I got this Everlast, this Everlast pad. Um, they were uh, clearance in at uh, Walmart for 25 bucks a piece. And these are usually like, depending on where you get them, 40, 50, 60 bucks. And it's got, you know, a strap and a, a hand grip on the back. And that fucker's hard as a rock. I mean, it's this will last for years. And you can just have somebody hold that up or strap it to a pole, gorilla tape it to a pole in your basement, and you got something to hit. As long as the rest of your family doesn't mind the noise. But that's just a cheap way to do it. I got, you know, I found this. These are like two, two fifty, three hundred bucks. I got in for hundred and twenty bucks. Somebody selling them on Craigslist. I got a couple other bags for twenty bucks, thirty bucks, and I got one for free. You know, I've got three, four, five, five bag, heavy bags scattered throughout this 350 square foot room that I do my videos in. <clears throat> but so anyway, from here again, it's elbow, right palm, palm, switch, elbow, right palm, palm. And when you practice it on the bag, same thing, elbow, right palm, palm, elbow, right palm, palm. And you just go back and forth until you get a good, until it's like tying, like I always say, until it's like tying your shoes. 
until you get a good rhythm going. Just start out slow. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. <clears throat> until you get a good rhythm going. And it's like second nature. So when you, you know, somebody comes up and gets in your face, as soon as they touch you, that's assault. That means you have permission to kick their ass with extreme prejudice. Okay? So again, here, boom, 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 boom. You know, practice that till you get it down like it flows like butter. And then you can utilize that. You can mix other things. You can get elbow, break palm, palm, shift, uh, sword hand to the throat. Come back, same thing. Elbow, right palm, palm, elbow to the throat or the side of the neck, or I mean, elbow, rich hand to the throat or the side of the neck. You could do elbow, right palm, palm, step in, grab, and throw a knee to the body. You can just take all the things that you've learned so far on these videos, or if you go to a, school, a local karate school, um, you know. Add other things into it. Make up your own stuff. Think of scenarios because you know what? It doesn't happen. The way that you train typically in the, the local karate school, <clears throat> you just drill over and over again. They're not real fight scenarios. Real fight scenarios is somebody's going to come up, grab you, try to punch you, grab you with both hands, or come up, boom, and push you, and either back off or come forward. So typically the true aggressive motherfuckers that are out to hurt you we're gonna push you and keep coming, and that's when you gotta, you know, get in position and do what you gotta to do to survive, get the fuck out of there and go home. <clears throat> but anyway, work on those until you got it, until you got it rolling, you know. Elbow, right palm, palm, elbow, right palm, palm. And keep those hands. Remember when when you one elbow, one hand goes out, the other one comes back. For protection, saying you throw on that elbow, I'm keeping this one up here in case that elbow doesn't work. You know, that's why that you got the second one coming in, boom. He moves out of the way, you're stepping in, boom, boom. You gotta come up, you're constantly throwing a technique in order to stop the attack. Okay, so when they practice that, I'm gonna show you a quick uh, two quick things you can do with uh, dumbbells. And depending on your size and strength, you only need a 10, 15 for you bigger motherfuckers, you can go with a 20. But all you're doing, just doing hammer curls. You're going to do as many reps as possible, say 20 to 30 reps, and just steady, just go. And what you're doing is getting that, pumping that uh, blood into the muscle tissue. And that's how you build that muscle, get it bigger, get it stronger. You don't have to go crazy with a lot of weight. That's just a waste of time, and and uh, you're gonna get you know, for us uh, older people that are in the 40s and 50s and 60s, you're gonna get uh, an injury. I mean, there's you know, once in a while I go heavy, but I've learned as I've gotten older is is repetition. You know, see right now I'm, you're still, you're by now you should be getting that ache in your muscle, starting to feel it get pumped. And if you want to mix it up, you can go, go to the outside, come back to the inside, go to the middle, and back to the outside. And then you're going to take the same thing, lay on your back, down on the floor, go like this, and just punch to the ceiling, doing skull pressures. Same thing for your elbows. Do them both at the same time, close to your head. You can stand up and do it if you want, but it's easier if you lay down on your back. You get better form. And just keep doing it until you get that pump going. 20, 30 reps, and do three sets of each. Do three sets of these, and then switch, and do three sets of these. And over time, you slowly increase the weight of the dumbbell, and you will see a difference. Your arms will start to get more defined. They'll get harder, stronger, your strikes will be quicker and more effective, more powerful. But anyway, I will try to keep up on getting those videos out. If you have any questions or concerns, um, send us, uh, and uh, you can uh, 
text me at 443-789-6461. That's on all the time. I usually respond right away if you have any questions, suggestions, or anything else. Feel free to send me a message. Other than that, keep training. Get on, work this in. You know, after you do that, do some push ups, do some crunchies, jump rope. I don't recommend running, they say that's bad for you. Makes your body age faster, it's tough on the knees, it's boring. You know, I try to, you know, I play a lot of racquetball, hit the bag, you know, lift weights, jump rope, you know, do whatever. Anyway, until next time, train hard, be safe.